Hi guys, welcome to CA Inter MCQs. We are doing a chapter of labor costing, trying to strengthen your concepts of MCQs. Uh, so I am Anuj. On our Telegram ID, you will be getting complete updates of SCMP, that is in CA final and costing and FM. So let's start it off. Our today's question is all about important factors for control of employees cost can be. Okay, what are the important factors? A. Time and motion study. That's A. B. Control over idle time and overtime. Okay. C. Control over employees turnover. And D is all of the above. It's an easy one. Even if you have not done this chapter, okay, basic common sense you will apply. You should be able to comment below the correct answer. C. Uh, if you want to be controlling employees cost, you should do time and motion study. Time and motion study will help you how the workers can work faster. If they will be working faster, automatically cost will be falling. B. Em control over idle time and overtime. Obviously, idle time increases my cost. Sometimes workers can be idle uh, because of the mistakes of the management. Like not allotting the job to a worker. He'll be sitting idle. Company is still paying him. So therefore, my cost is increasing. You're not maintaining the machines properly. So at that time, like, you know, workers are sitting idle because there might be a breakdown of machines. Over time, sometimes what happens is that workers tend to work slow during the normal time. So therefore, they can command overtime because the rates in overtime are slightly higher. So therefore, in case you want to be controlling your cost, control the idle time, control the overtime. And C, control over employee turnover. Obviously, whenever labor turnover or employee turnover will happen, just for your reference, employee turnover is also called as attrition rate. Okay, it's also called as attrition rate. Remember this word, it'll come back and say fine. So, whenever labor turnover will happen, old workers will leave, new workers will come. Automatically, cost will start to be increasing because new workers will have to be trained. They have to, like, you know, we have to do their selection, okay? We have to recruit them. All these things will be costing. Apart from that, there could be the medical checkup of the new workers. It will increase my cost. And efficiency of the new workers will not be same as efficiency of the existing workers. So therefore, at that time, cost might rise. So out of the four options, I guess answer should be D because A also will help you to control the cost, B also. C also, if you control the employee turnover, automatically cost will not be increasing. So answer should be D over here. That's my bet. Let's see. D is a correct answer. Thank you.